Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob. This is a how-to video for changing a Ford truck into Bambi mode using Ford Scan. Now Bambi mode is allowing your fog lights to stay on when you turn your high beams on. So when you're driving those back roads, you need all the lighting you can get. Most vehicles are set to turn your fog lights off when you turn your high beams on. So this will allow you to have all your lighting when you're going down the road so you can safely see any deer that might be jumping out at night. I'll include links to everything I'm using today in the description below. So make sure to click on those, check them out. Forescan is a free software tool that you can use on your computer to be able to change vehicle settings, read diagnostic trouble codes and erase them and many other things on a, any kind of Ford vehicle. Once you have Forescan opened up, you're gonna go down and collect this connect to vehicle. You wanna make sure you have your ODB2 port connected, whether you're doing Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, I'm doing a USB port just because I feel like a uh, connection like this is a little more reliable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect. All right, so we'll set it to MS. I'll just flip the switch on that. Okay. And you're gonna to wanna to go to this little uh, microchip where it says configure. Click on that. And we're looking for the body control module. And in here you'll see as built and then non as built. Uh, as builts are like, coded, so it's not gonna be as easy to change as just changing values. So we're gonna go into the body control module, not as built. Click on it and then hit play. Run service. Please set CAM bus to HS. Just switch it over. And I've been okay. We're gonna type in light. All right, so down here you'll see fog lights if high beam is on. It's currently disabled. So we're gonna click this value here. You're gonna go down to edit selected after you got it selected and just simply enable it. Hit the checkbox. Now it is enabled. And I'm going to go ahead and write this to the ECU. And this is confirming the value change. Got a low brake fluid with the stop the lights turning on, kind of flicked on just to show that it's overwritten that value. Locks programmed successfully. Please cycle the ignition off and then back on. It's like, okay, so I'm going to do that. All right, I hit OK. All right, so it's written the value now. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop service procedure. I've stopped that. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the, the vehicle here and I'm going to disconnect. All right, now it shows it's not connected, it is disconnected. And it's a good idea to go ahead and take your vehicle for a test drive and just check these values out, make sure they change properly. Thanks for watching this how-to video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash down that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. I'm posting weekly videos on my 2015 F-150 and 1979 Ford Bronco, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow along. Thanks for watching.